Hello everyone. I'm Dimanti and I'm Hiroshi. We are students from 9A's workshop. We are going to present the lesson Nature and Properties of Matter. Be Before we start our presentation, we will give you a question to find an answer. So this is the question. What was the very first element and who discovered it? Can you guess? So now we are going to start the presentation. We will be using the six hats method to present the lesson. From the six hats, we are going to use the red, black and yellow hats. The yellow hat expresses advantageous ideas. The red hat uh, shows your, shows, um, the red hat expresses your positive attitude towards the lesson. And the black hat tells where you got stuck in the lesson or the difficulties or doubts you faced. Uh, the first is the red hat. Dimanti. Yes, Hiroshi. Uh, we know that the building units by which matter is composed are atoms. What is wonderful is the fact that a greater part of an atom is empty space. Uh, so, Hiroshi. Yes, Dimanti. The atom was considered as a very small particle which cannot be divided further. According to the scientific experiments conducted later, it was discovered that atoms were made of a collection of subatomic particles. Uh, the next is the black hat. Uh, memorizing the names of the elements and the symbols uh, was a bit confusing and the lesson could use more information. Dimandi. Yes, Sushi. The difficulty I faced was to remember memorizing the Latin names and symbols. It was a bit hard. So, Hiroshi? Yes. The next is the yellow hat. This is a mind map made by Dimandi, and now she'll be explaining about elements. Okay. I'm gonna talk about elements. The pure substances with specific properties which cannot be further divided by either physical or chemical methods are known as elements. Some elements are carbon, oxygen, sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, and phosphorus. Some come with their Latin names, sodium, natrium, copper, cuprum, lead, plumbum, gold, aurum, mercury, hydrogenum, iron, ferrum, and silver, argentinum. So, Hiroshi? Uh, yes, Dimanti. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the building units of elements. John Dalton was the first one who discovered atoms. Atoms cannot be divided further. A combination of one or two atoms of the same element is known as homoatomic molecule. Uh, examples for molecules, oxygen molecule. Uh, then there's the atomic structure. The central core of the atom is positively charged and called as nucleus. This was discovered by Ernest Rutherford. Uh, and then there's the standard method of representing the atomic number and the mass number. The next is compounds. Since these molecules contain different atoms, they are called heteroatomic molecules. Uh, examples, uh, water is made of two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule. And then there's glucose, acetic acid, ethanol and sucrose, Dimanti. Yes, Hiroshi, I'm going to talk about now mixtures. Mixtures are formed when two or more pure substances get together. Uh, some mixtures are 
air, sea water, crude oil, cake. Uh, air is made up of uh, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor. Sea water is, consists of water, salts, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Uh, crude oil consists of diesel, petrol, kerosene, cake, sugar, flour, oil, egg, butter. Uh, these are some separating methods of the constituents. Sifting, separating gravel from sand, evaporating, separating salt from seawater, steam distillation, separating cinnamon oil from cinnamon leaves, fractional distillation, separating oils from crude oil. So, Hiroshi. Yes, Nimanti. Uh, so now we have come to the end of our presentation. Uh, before we started explaining the lesson, uh, Nimanti asked you as a question. So can you give the answer now? Yes, Hiroshi. This is the answer for the question we asked before. The first element which was discovered was phosphorus, and it was discovered by a German alchemist uh, named Henning Brand in 1666. So thank you very much.